Yeah! Oh shit. Wednesday! I'm scared. Always get scared at this point. <laughs> Always get scared at this point. Yeah! Oh, let me put this up. Oh, oh my on. god, it's going down, yeah. people. Yeah! It's going down, people. Yeah! What's up, everybody? Woo! It's that time of the week. It's that time of the day, man. It's that time of the hour. It's the Sexy Party Show Woo! on the GoPro Radio Network. What's going on? Yeah. I'm Mr. Locario, uh, the bad boy of the dating game. We got Miles Cunningham in this spot. What's popping? What's up, everybody? This is your boy, Miles Cunningham, coming to you live from GoPro Radio Studios. Holla at your boy. Nice. And we got Ja in the building. What's popping? What's up, everybody? Listen to the voice of your head and... Thank you for tuning in. Ja, ja ran here, okay? So he's... Fucking ran. He was running very fast, like, you know, the cops are after him or something. Yes. It was crazy. It was crazy. We got, we got you know, we got some guests coming through later on. Some uh, guests from the Feminine Persuasion. So, you know, the show will look less gay. You understand what I'm saying? Right. It's, it's, you know, it's a sexy party show. We got to have something sexy. Now. And, you know, niggas is homophobic anyway. Exactly. Exactly. Right. So, the call in number is 347 308 347 quick. So, the, <laughs> the topic of the show, people, is, is that nigga a friend or is he the oh. backup plan? <laughs> He's the backup plan. So basically, is your spouse's or boyfriend or girlfriend's friend, are they really your friend or are they just there just in case? Just waiting in the wing. Just in case your relationship fuck up, they could come through and slide in. You mm. feel what I'm saying? Because some people, especially females, they're under the impression that men actually like them and that men actually want to be their friends. Mm. You see, I'm looking through the sound, sound room. They, they're like, mm. what? It's crazy. But before we get into all that, guys, we got to get into this news orgy, people. Yes. We got to get into this news orgy. First, first order of business. How to have sex with two women a day. Okay. Woo! You guys need to get this book. This book is awesome. This is the type of book, right? You read it and you follow the instructions and then you get sex. It's really that simple. I tried to make this as simple as possible for you people. So all you got to do is go to MrLocario.com. MrLocario.com. Or, or iLookSexyNaked.com. iLookSexyNaked.com. And get your copy of How to Have Sex with Two Women a Day. And yes. we have ebooks available so you can go there right now. Right now. Right now as you're listening to the Sexy Party Show and buy one and download it. So after the Sexy Party Show, you can read about How to Have Sex with Two Women a Day. And guys, listen. Let me tell you a little secret. Winter time is the best time to get pussy because yes. women want to cuddle they're looking for boyfriends they're going to be more cooperative so you have to take advantage yep. of their thirstiness yep. you feel what i'm saying so you can because since they can't wear you know <laughs> less clothing they have to actually depend on their personality exactly so and we know a lot of them don't have that they, they so haven't had the practice they're they're a little bit more receptive to games so exactly holler, exactly yeah. they're they're ready right now you feel me so listen Let's have what's happening in the news. Oh, so <laughs> oh, hold on, we we got let, let's let's get to, to to Ronan real quick. I gotta say what up to my to my my peoples. Ronan, Ronan, what's popping, man? What up, Ronan? I'm chilling, man. Just trying to take care, uh, take advantage of this winter wetness that you e guys are talking about. Exactly, yeah. exactly. Because you know the girls out here, they are cooperating heavy mm. because they have to. Do you understand what I'm saying? Cause this is the no, I'm dead serious. This is Yo, I hollered at a bitch today, and I could have got her, but I knew the only reason why I could have got her was because I could have gave her a ride, and it was snowing outside. Right, right, it's true. Yeah, it's true. I was uh, like, nah, bitch, you ain't gonna be using me for my ride. <laughs> Plus, I got some place to go. <laughs> <laughs> so, so Ronan, are you are you uh you know are you uh you, you got a girl? Uh -oh. uh, I met a few here and there. This uh, I want to put them on blast. It's a numbers game. <laughs> it's, it's a numbers game. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, I gotta apologize because you never ask a man does he have a girl right. in public because you know what I'm saying. There might be shit going on, and you want to make sure <laughs> he says the right thing. Right. Because I start asking questions. So where your girl from? He might have three girls in different states. Right. And he can't if he say from she from New York. Right. Then the chick in 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 California gonna be like nigga. <laughs> 
<laughs> fuck you talking about? Yeah. So you got to be careful. Don't ever ask a man in public on a public forum mm. about his relationships. All that fucking game is a headache. Because you got you got to you got to you know what I'm saying? You got to oh, know how to do it, man. Headache, hey, <laughs> hey, Ronan. So, so tonight, for listening. <laughs> yo, so tonight we talking about um is. Is are they friends or are they Plan Bs? So we go we gonna get your opinion on that a little later, alright bro? Yeah, we are gonna put you on hold real quick. Oh yeah, I'm looking forward to this one. That's, right? that's what's up. That's what's up. So in in in, in the news, people, uh, this dude named Earl Hayes, who's uh, Isaac Hayes' son. That's what they said yeah, it in, right? Okay, All and right. he's a rapper, and right. he uh, he killed himself and his girlfriend Stephanie Mosley. She's like a a reality TV star and a dancer and all this other shit. You know, they're basically both on the come up. Right. And they are cool with Floyd Mayweather. Right. He was a rapper for Floyd Mayweather's money team. Right. So you know tragic, what I'm saying? Man. So what happened was this dude, allegedly the 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 girl, his girlfriend, uh, cheated on him with Trey Songs at one point. Uh-huh. And then... Yeah. Now, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And then now... <laughs> <laughs> I think something happened where he was, you know, he thought she was cheating on him again. And then he got upset. Damn. And was like, bitch, what the fuck is going on? And you then he killed her and he killed himself. And he was a he was allegedly, I'm keep saying allegedly, because all this shit. No, you have crazy. to. You have right. to no, really though, this the full story hasn't really come out right. yet. So continue exactly. to say allegedly. Allegedly, yes. uh, your boy uh, Floyd Mayweather was on FaceTime with him right. at the time that allegedly. it happened. Yeah. Right. He was crazy. trying to talk him out. Right. Or right. maybe he was trying to talk him into it. <laughs> He allegedly, allegedly. Allegedly. He allegedly Or, or maybe shit. Maybe he was Damn. trying to talk him into killing himself But leaving yeah. his fine ass wife Allegedly right. Allegedly exactly. yeah. That's what I would have been doing <laughs> On FaceTime face She was pretty I would have been I, like Nigga kill yeah. yourself yeah. But leave that bad bitch right there For your man Like for real for real You know I, I personally really pretty, I, I, I think that uh, nah, Floyd Mayweather probably Tapped that at one point. Maybe, maybe he was leaving the mess with Floyd. Like, look, I know what y'all did, did. Exactly. <laughs> and I'm killing her because you can't have her. <laughs> Allegedly. 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 <laughs> <laughs> it's messed up. Woo! We yeah. should we shouldn't be laughing at this, but the yeah, reason why we but... are no fuck that is because... <laughs> fuck that. I'm laughing at that nigga. No. <laughs> No, c- condolences to his family. Right, you understand? Right, condolences right. and respect to his family. But I'm laughing at your ass. When a nigga, no, no, no. When a nigga take his own life, right, he's right. selfish and he's a fucking coward. That's right, right. Because right now, I don't know how I'm going to pay my rent before, before the end of this fucking month. <laughs> but am I going to kill myself? No. I'm going to keep going on with life because I ain't no fucking pussy. Right. Fuck out of here. <laughs> Laugh at that nigga, man. <laughs> Bitch ass nigga, man. And he gonna kill a kill a girl too. Like right. kill yourself. Right. No, don't, like don't make the choice for her. But, but see, this is what happens. This here, is what man. happens when you have simp disease. You understand? Exactly. Like he 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 just made a woman. What's that? That simp disease is when you have so much you, you have nothing else going on in your life. Right. You have no value for yourself. So that the woman becomes your whole life. So when uh, a woman does anything, it affects you so much because you've attached your identity, your sense of well-being to this woman. Nigga, so when she does some yeah. shit to, to fucking cheat on you or do whatever, you're ready to kill yourself, that you're ready to kill her. Man. Nigga, when my bitch fucks her around, <laughs> I just come up with some new content for the sexy party exactly. show on the GoPro Radio Network. Exactly. That's Nigga. what you gotta do. That's Wasting what you gotta time do. Worried about some damn female, man. Come on, man. <laughs> But that goes this this is a lesson for you guys out there, man. It's a weak person, man. Like right. Man. If a chick cheats on listen this just look at it this way. Fucking late. your girl, just just understand that your girl Dump her. will cheat on you at right. some point. Just understand that every woman will cheat. Yeah, this is the thing. They they get so confused thinking chicks are like these nice little angels and right. they, yeah. they would never do that. <laughs> listen, women love dick. Yep. And then all they need is a, a player who's attached to that dick to spit that right shit in they in they in their ear. Like l- listen, if when, when if my wife is fucking with another dude, right? right. I want to meet that nigga because all that's saying to me is that his level of game is serious right. to where he just spit some shit at my girl and got her to do all that nasty like, nigga, shit. what exactly did like, you what say? Like, what exactly did you do? Can I take notes, nigga, so I can <laughs> so help out my other brethren to, 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 to get on this game? That's all you need to do. Anytime your, your, your bitch cheat on you, be like, listen, can I get this man number so we can have a discussion? Take that nigga out for a drink and be like, look. 
Can you tell me what's going on? Because I need to know. Right. I need to know the powers that you possess. <laughs> the game. Nigga. We need to know the game. Right. That's but it. leave that chick alone overall. <laughs> he said, leave nah, that yeah. chick alone. <laughs> leave my ass. After you find out, after you do your... No, but it's not about him, though. It's not about him, right. though. It's right. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's right. It's not about him. But, oh, but like, we got to get to this, though. So, in other news, um, allegedly... Pornography is uh, being banned in the UK, or certain types of pornography. Really? Yeah. So yeah, some of the what, certain what, types, what, you know, like you, you, no, no fisting, no, uh, no, no, um, well, no fucking really... objects. <laughs> you can't fuck an object that's used for violence. Like, so a woman can't put a bat in her pussy, uh, it, it, you know, on yeah, camera. No, right. No, no, no squirting. No, right. Squirting. No female no agenda. Now that shit is crazy. Now, right. and also, you what? What else you can do in the UK is you, they're not, they're gonna have they're gonna ban. They're gonna ban basically um, the 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 porno. You know the porno where the girl the girl in the porno she's actually like twenty years old, but they pretend she's like sixteen. Right. So then you got that no fantasy of fucking a young girl. No more they're of that. So they're gonna put a real fifty year old. No, no. <laughs> make, look, make, make sure she look fifty. <laughs> <laughs> you know what yeah, they're gonna, they gonna keep all the ages correct. Right. Oh, and no more sitting on the face like a bitch can't sit in your face no more. But oh you my can, god. But you can advertise prostitution in the, in the window. I don't, I don't the, know. I don't know what's going on. The fuck? The yeah. feminists. The feminists are winning. That's what right. you gotta understand. That's all you gotta understand is that oh, the feminists are winning. I want to say something real quick to to the street harassment right. movement and uh, the, all, all them dumb bitches doing that street harassment shit. Right. History repeats itself. Uh huh. Right. Right. When the first feminine movement came around, uh-huh. feminist movement came around, it it it. Separated black women from uh, black men. Right. And this is exactly what this shit is doing all over again. Right, right. Because the real black woman uh, loves to walk down the street and the niggas in the hood is like, damn, right, you're right, looking good. Right. That's the black women I know. Uh, I don't know about these new age these new, career these, women these who new blacks. Who all they all up in, you know, they, they give a fuck what, what, what the boss is saying and they don't want to listen to their husband. Right, right. I don't know about these new bitches. You right. feel me? I know about the old bitches who was cool with getting compliments in the street. Right. But what I'm the point I'm trying to make is that history is repeating itself where it's separating uh, men and women of color. Right. Because right. all of a sudden now. The new, the new chick growing up, she's uh, watching this and she's thinking that it's a bad thing to get complimented in the street by your brethren. Right, right. And that's not a, that's not a cool that's thing. Not, yeah. Because black people and c- brown people, colored people, right. we come from villages. Right, right. That's where we come from, right. where everybody know each other. Right. Everybody help raise each other's kids. Right. If you have in financial trouble, you could go get some, you know, right. some Kool-Aid and a loaf of bread from Miss Miss Johnson down the street. Right. People knew and spoke to each other. Right. And even if you saw a bitch in the street and said, yo, who that? Damn, she looked fine. Or she, hey, how you doing, girl? Right. Or good morning, miss. Right. Or it was okay. Right. That's the neighborhoods that I knew. Right. That's right. the Harlem. Remember she was walking through right. Harlem? Harlem. Exactly. That's the Harlem exactly. that I know. You exactly. understand? So all of this shit is just history repeating itself. And they're just right. trying to separate people of color. That's it. Right. Nah, it's real talk, man. Just wanted man. to say that real quick. It's real talk, man. These fucking street harassers, man. Harass more. That's what I should. That's what Hell I, I fucking think. Yeah. More harassment. I think that Hell needs to happen. Yeah. More gun talk. You know. <laughs> I'm not more, feeling man. more. Yeah. Just more. But <laughs> so, so oh, so talking about rap. Your boy Diddy. Whoa. Is beating the shit out of Drake. Y'all heard about that shit? <laughs> so allegedly, the first thing they were saying was that Drake was trying to highlight Cassie, so that's right. why he was being. A, but so the the the, uh, the real the quote unquote real story or allegedly or whatever you want to say is that 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 song zero to hundred real quick was supposed to exactly was supposed to be Diddy and 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 Drake. <laughs> I don't know how the hell that anyone had an idea for that to happen, but but Drake yeah, that took song the, been funny. <laughs> Drake took the song. And just recorded it without Diddy. But the thing was, was Diddy was sitting on the track for like eight months and right. didn't do shit. Right. But then what happened was they said that Diddy, when Diddy, uh, you know, saw Drake, he confronted him, and Drake allegedly kind of just ignored the nigga. Like, you know, it was like whatever. You know what I'm saying? And then that's when Diddy went and you know punched Diddy. The nigga Diddy face. was like, "Yo, Drake, <laughs> I'm gonna show you how my fist goes zero to a hundred, nigga, real quick." <laughs> he was like, "Take that, take that, <laughs> take that." Take that. <laughs> and, then, and then now Drake is in the hospital. Wow. 
for a fucking uh, like sprained shoulder or some stupid Damn. shit. I don't know. Yeah, Yo, <laughs> that one punch. Yo, if I was Drake, I'm suing that ma- nigga for like two hundred million. <laughs> Zero to I'm a hundred. Real quick, <laughs> yo. Like, yo, yo I'm, gonna get, money, I'm yo. gonna get a decent lawyer. I'm gonna be like, listen, this is Real Diddy quick. we're talking yeah, exactly. about. Real quick, yeah. I'm getting this nigga for every yo, day I could. Drake, like, if Drake yo. sued Diddy, man, that shit would be I'm amazing. Sue my style. Yo, I'm if he sued my Diddy, you, they're gonna have Drake in the fucking Forbes <laughs> at, at number two under Dr. Drake. <laughs> exactly. Hell yeah, boy. <laughs> uh, exactly. All that bullshit. <laughs> But man, <laughs> and, 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 and that's crazy though, man. But you know, Drake, Drake is you know I like Drake even though he's soft. Nah, he's he's a good rapper, but yeah, yeah. he's soft. <laughs> he's but soft. um, but, but listen, you know, somebody got to sing to these bitches. Exactly. So, but look, we gotta take a quick break. Uh, when we come back, we're gonna be doing some Facebook quotes, and you guys are listening to the Sexy Party Show on the GoPro Radio Network. Yeah. yeah. to content developed by the GoPro Radio Network, the fastest growing network in the galaxy. GoPro Radio Network, listen to the voices in your head. Join Gail Walker, Larry Hamm, Ramsey Clark, and renowned artist and songwriter David Mel and many others for a historic citywide meeting in solidarity with African communities and healthcare workers. If you want to fight Ebola, fight stigma, and fight racism, meet us at the historic National Black Theater in Harlem on Tuesday, December 9th at 6.30 p.m. The National Black Theater in Harlem is located 2031 Fifth Avenue at 125th Street. We say healthcare is a human right. Money to fight Ebola, not endless wars. To endorse, volunteer, donate, or purchase tickets, contact the International Action Center at 212-633-6646. That's 212-633-6646. Or visit us online at iacenter.org. That's iacenter.org. We are an amazing people. Rooted in Africa, the cradle of human civilization. Descendant of the awesome men and women who made a way out of no way. People steeped in the values of truth, justice, respect, harmony, balance, reciprocity, and order. But 400 years of enslavement, Jim Crow, and racism, fueled by the lie of black inferiority, have taken their toll. The result? Too much pain. Too much hurt. Too much loss. We owe our ancestors, ourselves, and our children so much more than this. Join the movement for emotional emancipation, healing, and wellness for black people. Go to communityhealingnet.org and take the pledge to defy the lie and embrace the truth. That's communityhealingnet.org. Our children and our ancestors are waiting. We are back on the Sexy Party Show on the GoPro Radio Network. Call the numbers 347-308-8977. 347-308-8977. So this part of the show, we go on Facebook, we take Facebook quotes, and we talk about them and, you know, discuss the deep meanings of everyone on Facebook talking their thoughts. You feel me? So, <laughs> so, so this first one. Matt, yo, wait, let me get my, is there any quotes on there from women? Nah, these are all from guys. This well, time. no, I still gotta get the button. Or are ready. they about women? Yes, they're about. I, women I gotta get the button. Wait, okay. hold on. Let's test the button. Let's test Ho, the button. shut the fuck up. Okay, exactly. Just there testing, we go. All sure right. So ready. this first quote, it says, "Women are all the same. You know why? Because they all think they're different." <laughs> <laughs> That's true. I'm not that kind of girl. <laughs> <laughs> let, me, let me tell you something. Yo, there's nothing a woman wants more than to be different. Woo. But the thing is that all generally are all you, you guys are all the same. And men are all the same too. This is what we try to explain to you guys. Like, stop trying to be special. Just be you. And right. then if you are actually you, you will be special because then that's when the real difference will come out. You know what I'm saying? But a lot of women, they'll be on that bullshit like, oh, you know, I, I, I usually don't do this. Or I, I, I'm a lady and I never did this. And Say all that, that again, though. You know 
I said, if you're trying to be, you know, stop trying to be different. Just be the real you. Just be you. And then the real you will come out. And then that's when the real difference will come out. You and know that's, what I'm saying? that's when you'll and be that's special. That's when you'll be special. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? But it's like, but it's like women, they're, they're so caught up in trying to, you know, like prove to everybody that they're not this typical woman. Oh, I don't do this. I'm not this way. I, you know, I, 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 I'm into this and I got, I'm just like, yo, like, cause I wrote this post on the Facebook the other day and I was talking about, you know, women do this, women do that. And then the person's like, this other person, this girl, she's like, oh, well, real woman, blah, blah, blah. And they always try to separate themselves with the semantics. Like, right. well, I'm a real woman and you're dealing with girls and blah. I'm just like, shut up. Just shut up. All y'all are the goddamn same. Oh, not, shut you, the fuck you know up. And the reason why y'all are the same because y'all keep saying the same shit. Listen, if you've ever said lady, a, a woman doesn't do this type of stuff, or if you've ever said, I've never done this before, or if you ever said, I don't kiss on the first date, or if you ever said, you know, like any of these shits, if you, if you ever said that or thought that. I need to make a connection. First. Right. If I need, I need to make a connection. I need to, I need to feel. I need like, to get to know you. I need you. to get to know you. You ever said any of that shit? They, they have a, a term for that. It's called basic bitch. You understand? <laughs> and the thing is, you don't ever want to be a basic bitch. Mm. Because basic bitches don't really get, you know, benefits from any... Like, they don't get anything. Right. You know what I'm saying? You don't get the best type of guy because the best type of guy wants the best type of woman and the best type of woman is not a basic bitch. Mm. You see what I'm saying? Like, it's oh, that serious. Shut the fuck up. So, a, ba a basic bitch will... She will basically say everything the next bitch will say. Right, exactly. And this is the, and that's the problem where men have when they when the woman says, "I want to get to know you first. Right. The guy's looking at her like, "I already know who you are." Yeah, I heard that. Before. I heard this yeah. before. Yeah. Oh my god. You're like the last ten of them. The last. Oh. So why should I stay with you? Oh. That's what happens. Mm. You see what I'm saying? So mm. you got you ladies got to understand that shit. Oh. You know what I mean? Oh. All right. So the next the next quote it says this is a little a little long one. So I gotta read this shit. So it says. I stopped hollering at women, not because I'm afraid of rejection, but because I don't want no female to be calling me a creep and thirsty for just being a man. Also, I am a firm believer in not showing females any sort of interest until they show you first that they are interested in, in you in that way, as opposed to just being friendly so they could get stuff from you and get you to do things for them. Also note that no one can explain the actual tangible benefit to men that hollering at women can bring. Are you dying for a chance to cater to and spend money on her for a chance of maybe getting some sex? What is the real benefit of hollering at them? Are they bringing something tangible in my life that would benefit me? Why put myself out there like that? Risk rejection, disrespect, and embarrassment for no real benefit. The pros are just not greater than the cons. Mm. So he's had a lot of stuff in there. I mean, I, I, you know what? For the most part, I mean, yo, I agree with him. I mean, you, it, it's stupid to just... <coughs> sit up pay attention to the ones that's that's checking you out i mean but it is every now and again it is those women that you just gotta say something to if they don't give you a response shut the fuck up and keep it pushing <laughs> see well, go ahead, you go. what what no what i want to say is there's benefit to talk to almost everyone right right, right. i'm just that type of nigga though right. you know? i'm i'm like on some other idealistic utopian shit where mm. i see the value mm. in Conversing right. with others, with people, just men or women, right, right. it don't really matter. Right. So, um, in that in that realm of speaking, right, that's the tangible benefit of hollering. You right. know what I'm saying? Right. But that's the point. A lot of niggas put too much emphasis on the ho the hollering shit, right. and right. they don't know that they could just be meeting a bitch. Right, like, right, right, right. Just exactly. saying what's up to a new bitch. Right. Like, <laughs> you see what I'm saying? I mean. The fact that she looked good, let that be secondary. Right. But right. she caught your eyes, so you you're saying hi. Right. right. And that's it. Right. Don't put anything else on it. Right. To the point where you have to write a long ass <laughs> but joint it, like that. You see, know what I'm but it's the expectation of all of this. That's shit. what I'm saying. Because, because, but also, you know, in, in the thing he said, you know, like I, you know, he's like, oh, I don't want to. He's like, I want, I don't want to uh, risk rejection and disrespect and embarrassment. See, and, and that, that's all. That's all coming going on, on inside the dude. So, huh. Shut the fuck. How <laughs> shut that the goes fuck to that nigga. Up. You know why? Yeah, yeah. Because in the beginning of the joint, right. he said he's not afraid of rejection. Right. Right. Yet and still, you don't want to risk rejection. Exactly. Right, right. So that's what this I'm motherfucker. Saying. How he shut was. the fuck up? But that's what up. I'm saying though. Like, he made some good points, but the but see, but see, the, the thing that the thing, the thing that I you know I totally don't you know I agree with some of the stuff in here, but I don't agree with all it. The part where he's saying, "Hey, you know, like I only wait for women." 
So check me out first right, So choose right. me Which a lot of guys do As a defense mechanism Nigga they, If you let in a woman you got take anything You're right, in trouble right. You gotta switch it up You right. know what I'm saying you, it, it, Yeah like, like I said For the most part Man yeah, I'm not I'm not I ain't sweating nobody like right. that You know what I'm saying But It's that woman that you gotta Right, no, and, but all, but also too the, the thing the, the, the thing is I don't you know if a, if a chick is choosing you if she's checking you out hell yeah go up to her holler at her whatever but of course that's no you can't just take you can't just rely on that because first of all right. most chicks ain't gonna do that in the first right. place right. that's one they scared right number <laughs> two real. most women don't know what the hell they want in the first place so right. I, I've had women check me out I've had women say to my face. Hey, you're so attractive. You're cute. I like you. You're sexy. And I'm like, okay, when we gonna fuck? Uh, I don't know. Maybe. I <laughs> so what's the point? What's the point? It don't matter. It don't matter if she checking you out sometimes because her checking you out don't mean she gonna suck your dick. I have a question. You know what I'm saying? I want to know what's the percentage right. of almost rapes? What? I don't know. <laughs> what do you mean? What? Say it again? No, follow me on this. Say that one more time, y'all. Hold on. No, follow me on this. <laughs> Follow me on this. Follow me on this. Because right. I remember once, right? Right. Not even once. A, a couple of times. But there was a time that stands out in my mind that it was 2.30 in the morning. Uh-huh. I got this chick in my car. Right. And we're talking. Uh-huh. She attempts to exit the car. Uh-huh. Like three times. Right. But she keeps coming Who's back in, in the, the car. car. Right. To talk about more shit. Right. And then when I put my... Arm on the armrest and lean over to her. Right. She starts talking even more. Oh God! So then I realized, damn, this bitch wants so bad to fuck, but she can't just say, right. "Yo, let's, let's go, go fuck. fuck." Right, right. So I basically have to grab this bitch and <laughs> stick my tongue down her throat. <laughs> now, to me, that's an almost rape. Right, 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 right. What I want to know is, how how many times does that have to happen? Right, right. Has <laughs> it happened ten times for me? Yeah, has it happened every yo, time? <laughs> yo, almost like it happened at least four or five times in my right. lifetime, son. But you know, oh, what? in your lifetime, in my lifetime, but you like, know, but you know, they just keep <laughs> yapping, and you just got bitch come in, right, right. Oh, oh. But you see, see what I'm saying? But, see, like, I, but that's it. But that's no. But that's it. <laughs> but, that's a, but that's the thing, though. That's the thing, though, because there's this guy on YouTube. He made a video. He said that he said that basically all men are rapists, and he and he's basically saying that the reason why men are rapists is because women play this hard to get shit right so by definition you're sort of almost forcing the woman to fuck to you fuck, right? because she keeps saying i don't want to do it or no let me wait blah, blah, blah. look you know what i'm saying yo, look, <laughs> look 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 man, fuck all of that shit yo look i want somebody that's like yo i want you i ain't trying to convince nobody of shit right, right. if you if i gotta convince you right then fuck it but that's right. what i'm saying though it's too many no no no, man. no, no, no. It's but that's like what a thousand saying. women to one no but that's what man. i'm saying though right. how think about that in your lifetime and think about how many times if you had just said bitch come here right if it would have happened and been a good and, and not, experience, and, and not you even what I'm that, and not even that. There's women who've actually admitted. There's, there's women who actually admitted that they've been in situations with guys. Because I think even Louis C.K. or one of them comedians did a, a, a bit about this, where she was like, "Oh, when we were in the room, I expected you to keep coming at me and to keep and to play right, and to rip and off to my rip clothes." On. Yeah, so all of that shit. So it's like they're sort of expecting it, but you got to be a goddamn mind reader to know if she's comfortable with the fucking shit. Well, I'm not. But, a but see, I'm not. I don't. That's what I'm saying. I don't. <laughs> me. Nigga, I ask you one time, or I'm like, I touch you a little bit, and if I keep seeing you pull back, right. it's done. Out of here, yeah. It's a rat, because I, <laughs> the I'm, fuck not, I'm not it's doing done. it. Yo, we got we got another Hold caller. On, let, me, let, let me get this caller real quick. We got like 60 seconds before we gotta go on break. Hold on, let's see who this is. Six one seven, you're on the sexy party show. I mean, six seven eight, you're on the sexy party show. Hey, what's going on? This is Q calling from Atlanta. Q, what's popping? What's up, popping? What's, what's going on? So, have you ever been in a, a situation of uh, almost rape? <laughs> no, you know, you know, I never, I never did that because you know I got initiated early in the game, so nice. I never fell into the category a lot of other dudes fell into. But I'll speak on something real quick though about that. Right. It, it, it appears that you got too many of these dudes who get caught up in those situations because they champion chicks too much. Mm. Some of the stories you guys kick on a regular basis, man, is about being in control of you as a dude. I right. mean, Word. it ain't like they they gonna stop in, inventing vagina tomorrow. You know what I'm saying? Right. So, you know, you, 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 you're not going to beg chicks. I grew up in Oakland, California. I never I never knew what begging chicks was until I moved to the South. And I see all these dudes catering to chicks and appeasing chicks mm -hmm. and 
See, we, like, we, we, got, we, got, we, got, we got a we got a Mac on the phone right yes, now. Yes, sir. Hold on, we gonna put you on hold real Yo, quick. Yo, don't get off the don't line. All right, just stay right there. Put you on the phone real quick. We're gonna go to we gotta go to break really quick, guys. You listening to the Sexy Party Show on the GoPro Radio Network? Listen to the voice break, in your head, goddammit. it. <laughs> For love. Join Gail. You're listening to content developed by. The GoPro Radio Network, the fastest growing network in the galaxy. GoPro Radio Network, listen to the voices in your head. We interrupt this broadcast to bring you a great opportunity. If you have an event, product, service, talent, or something important to say, now is your chance. You can have your very own radio show. Whether you're just starting out or a veteran looking for a professional platform to enhance your presentation and following, the GoPro Radio Network is the premier place to cultivate and share new and exciting content. We can help you grow your audience and keep it growing long after your first broadcast. Now you have a voice. Call 212 696 8562 or visit www.goproradio.com and you'll be amazed at how easy and affordable it is to have your very own professional radio show on the fastest growing network in the galaxy. GoPro Radio Network. Listen to the voices in your head. I could do backwards. Like that. Yeah, yeah do that. Are we back? I think we're almost back. Nah, I think, I think he's good. Can you put the hat yeah, backwards? Oh, good. Good turn. That's going to be too much. Yeah, leave it on like the side. There we go. Perfect. Well, I'm going to shade dog in my hat. Nah, because this side, this side has more light. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Are we back? I w- oh, yeah. Oh, shit. Oh, hey. Whoa. Yeah. They hear, they hear, oh, you oh, over oh. here staring at Z with her fine ass. God damn. So we are back on the Sexy Party Show. About to almost rape her before the show. So that we... So we <laughs> wow, it's like... Uh-oh. 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 Then rape, huh? How, how about we? Maybe. How about we almost <laughs> go to dinner? <laughs> how, how about we we almost go to dinner, but we never make it to dinner? You oh know what I'm saying? And you just get right to the almost I rape. You gotta eat. How about we work up appetite? How about we work up appetite? Then I will take you to dinner. The meal would be more satisfying because See, you know yeah. we worked up all that all that appetite. No. Uh-uh. <laughs> y'all, y'all, try, y'all trying to take up airspace macking and shit. <laughs> so, so we got we got a special guest in the building. We got Z. Z is a model, actress, a journalist. Hold up. Before you say anything, Mm -hmm. I need y'all to go to (laughs) GoProRadio.com. And watch us live so you can check out how fine Z is. Because mm. she, yo, she looked like a young Beverly Johnson. Mm. No lie. Uh, uh-huh. <laughs> Sexy. Anyway. Yeah. Hey. Anyway. Oh, you're I hope, I hope the, I hope the, the, the technical staff is making sure they, <laughs> they switch camera one, camera two when they, they're supposed to. Because. They, they on point. Right. They on point. <laughs> yeah. They on point. Z, God. So, Woo. so this part of the show, people. Is called the dirty sexy truth. You ain't even shit, ready with your sound effects. You never ready with sound effects. <laughs> it's, it's all my fault. Oh shit! This is all hold on, hold on, no, no, I got it, I got it. I, I just got the regular one though. I got this. Yeah, where's your sound effects? Come on. Oh, and the line gotta be up for that to work. Uh oh. Let's start uh talking dirty. Okay, yeah. here we go. So this this topic today we're talking about is that person a friend, or is that person your backup plan? So if you're in a relationship and you have a friend, oh, wow. are they really a friend or are they just backup just in she, case? She listing all the plan B's right exactly. now. <laughs> like, well, there's Belle and yeah. there's... You guys going to get me in trouble. Exactly. Oh, oh, oh. So wait, wait, Z, you in a relationship right now? Do we- uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> Is that supposed to be? A, that's not supposed to be your sound effect. That's supposed to be... Okay, anyway. Shit, let me um, get this well, ready. it's not a relationship. Like, I'm... I am Uh-oh. in like. Oh, oh, shut the fuck up! Uh, <laughs> wait, what? I'm sorry. I I'm in like with someone. You're oh, in li- like. Oh, I like that. I like that. How? Oh, like shut the. Sorry. What? No, no, no. Don't you be know, a hater. I don't understand. No, you you gotta explain that. Okay, one. go ahead. What, what does in like mean? Because I, I think I know what it means. Go ahead. In <laughs> like, like I'm, I'm getting to know a person, and I've been very <laughs> honest about the situation. I'm not. <laughs> so it's like, like, like <laughs> wait, so so it's just like, y'all, do, are y'all having sexual relations at this point? That nigga's uh, tight. <laughs> I know that nigga's tight. She pausing too much. <laughs> that nigga's tight. Well, actually, he's at work right now, so he's even now. Uh-oh. He's even he's even more angry. No, um, somebody at home like I don't work. 
<laughs> you know, it, it is. We we are close. We've we've known each other biblically. Oh my goodness! <laughs> oh, that means Cunnilingus and Felicio. Is that, is that what that means? <laughs> Uh oh. And I use the big word, so don't get mad at me. <laughs> Next question. I don't talk about people when they're not here. Uh oh. Uh oh. You, you should have brought them. Yeah, I, I, I don't talk about people when they're not here. Should have okay. brought the man. That should have <laughs> brought them. All right. So in like. So in so in like, I think I, I like when women are in like, but when it has more of a sexual connotation to right. it. Right. Because I mean, that is like, like, like I so like you putting my mouth. Like, you can't be in like and. It can't. It, it can't just be like just hanging out and we're no getting sex. to know each other. No, because I don't like that. That's the stuff I don't like on some cheap keys. That's that shit I don't <laughs> like. Because that, cause that <laughs> means I'm waiting for you How? already <laughs> to, to to be comfortable liking me the way I like to be liked. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Mm. Well, don't it's worry hard. about that. We have a good like. Nice, nice. So, so the question is, if you get with this guy, right? Let's say I, y'all get together, y'all boyfriend and girlfriend. Will you have male friends? Or do you have male friends? I do already have him? male pl- male platonic friends. I while while you're in a relationship, even if you're in a relationship, now how far does that go? <laughs> See, well, the thing is, like my past, like the most recent relationship, the past relationship I had, I did not have really. I had male friends, right. but he didn't really. They were platonic, but I didn't really hang out with them like that right. out of respect. Mm-hmm. So um, it, I think that just takes communication. Like, right. I, like I feel like you should, you should be, he should be able to have female friends. You should be able to have male friends. Really, you want him to have female friends? You, how, 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 I want to know them. them. I want to know them. Okay. You want to know them? I mean, I think that's fair. If I'm gonna keep my, if I'm gonna keep my male friends, I think it's fair for him to have female friends. Am I right? And why do you want to know his female friends? Because I want to know what's up with them. You see oh, the neck? Uh, <laughs> no. <laughs> I want to neck, right? No, I saw the neck. No, no, no. Hold on, hold on. I just want to point this out. When she was talking about herself having male <laughs> friends, <laughs> it was cool. And she was <laughs> like, well, <laughs> I think I think I should have male friends. But when we were talking about his female <laughs> friends, well, I want to. Okay. All right, then. All right, then. You know, because you know what? It's not him that I can't, may, might not be. It's not him. Him, I can probably trust. All right. It's the females, and females are vicious. Exactly. Like and it's not you that I don't trust, honey. It's them niggas waiting to fuck you. Right. That's what I'm saying. That's why we can't do it. All that shit is game. <laughs> you think game, so? Yes. But what about what about a childhood friend that you had since childhood? Yo, fuck maybe, 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 maybe it, not. Maybe. How about like, maybe not? He's like maybe not. Look, let me tell you something. Yo, all that shit is in violation. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? We here. See, we here. No, Jesus. no, you not have time out on that bullshit. <laughs> that shit is right here. You know what I'm saying? I mean, we can have friends. We can have friends and, and everything. You know what I'm saying? I got a girl and everything, and, and I and I and I have and I have a really good friend. Okay, but. She's getting to know her. Ain't no game. You know what I'm saying? And it ain't no it ain't no it, I, my girl don't feel insecure. You know what I'm saying? And I'm not going and I'm not going to feel insecure cuz we all cuz we we here with it. We like, you know, I, I, let me meet him. Right, you know what I'm saying? Right, and, right. And, and and it's nothing. But all that work. See y'all y'all on that. Other sh- I, no, 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 I'm not. I'm really not. I agree with you. No, but would you but, but, but the question is also do people have backup people though? Is that is right. that? Yeah. I think I think is, men have backup people more so than women. Let me Fuck ask you. Let me ask you. Let me ask you. Yo, plus you can tell. Okay, you try to hold it down. No, I'm not. I'm not talking about now, and I'm not talking about the guy you're in like with. But have you ever, before, not now, because he's at work, but not now. <laughs> but have you ever? Had a male friend while you was with somebody, and one of the male friends was was in your mind a backup. Like you this. be you be pausing too. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. All of these damn questions. I'm, I'm trying to give you the honest truth. Uh, like, then, then just say. I it. don't think I. I don't think I had a. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I have had a black backup plan. No. Okay. Uh-oh. I think when I've got my heart broken, I really got my heart broken. Like, okay. Wait, hold on. Let, let me get uh, six four six on the line. Six four six. Um, six four six. You're on a sexy party show. Who's this? <laughs> Girl, don't be trying to get shy now. Who's this? <laughs> I'm not. Not that talking. I was trying not to be rude. Oh, oh that's pretty, that's pretty lady, right pretty there. Lady, I know that right pretty there. lady. Uh oh. So What's up, pretty lady. So so pretty lady. Pretty for those hey. that don't know, pretty lady. Is the 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 you know is Jaws girl right? Oh. So so I want to ask you, pretty lady, would you want Ja to have uh, female friends? Close, Close female, female friends. friends. I do not mind the friends that he had before me. No no no, 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 no. I'm talking about some fine ass bitch he just met last week, and they're close friends. 
Nah. They wouldn't be close friends after a week. <laughs> the female friends he had prior to me, no, I would not have a problem with because so, I trust him. So y'all can't, he can't get no, so no new friends? So no new friends, No new friends on that Drake shit? Nah, ain't no new friends. I agree. don't need no new friends. I got my new friend, my new friend on the phone right now. Oh, my new friend on the phone. What about if it was like at work or something and they had to like communicate with one another? Then oh, what? Well, that's some. Well, we that's can some all other. be friends. Exactly. We can all be friends. If she came over the crib, I would be there. Is that right. There would not be exactly. him going over there unless it was friends that he had prior to so, me. So that what's up with the You're right. If she's if she's fine, if she's fine, and she can eat him, either me. My friends prior to him uh -huh. are not backup. They're okay. not playing B's. I just wanted to chime in on that. Okay. Our friends are our friends. They are not the backup right, or the right. playing. But I got a question for you though. I got a question for you though. Right. If the friend came over to the house and her thighs was thicker than yours and she could eat a mean vagina, how would the threesome go? <laughs> would you be a pillow she princess? Would eat my pussy. She oh, would she eat your pussy. <laughs> John, you need to keep her. <laughs> you need to keep her. Hold on. I know, bro. You know. Right, yo, let's, let's, get, let's get a. Let's get. Well, we're, yeah. gonna, we're gonna put you on hold real quick, pretty lady. Let's get. Let's get Ronan on the on the call. Ronan, what's what's your thoughts on this? <laughs> <laughs> what, are, what are your thoughts, Ronan? Uh, man, the, the the main thing I pay attention is to uh, body language and, and, and my intuition because, like, a lot of times that that uh, that body language will tell what's really going on there. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, I mean, I, I look at her. But what happened? What did Ronan did Ronan call drop? What happened? No, nah, continue, Ronan. I think Ronan got caught, cut off by the government or something. We All can't right. hear Ronan. Let, let, let's, let's get to 646. That's crazy. That's 646. Crazy. Hold on. Is the, is the calls dropping? I think the calls are dropping. Since it Block appears Talk. you're calling back into a live show, we are reconnecting okay. you now. So Block Talk is acting ridiculous, so we can't hear the call. So anyway, Man. we're going we're gonna to get back to the calls in a second. But So we're still going. He has a here. point. Ronan had a point. Right. Body language. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that is that, you know, silent your show now. communication. Since it appears you you're everything. calling back into a live show, we are that, reconnecting you now. You said that, that style non, is what? That nonverbal communication tells you everything. And, right. And you're in, you have to go with your gut feeling. There's so many times I went against it, and I've always regretted it. Right. So Sometimes you got to know the shit out your gut, because your gut is being on some punk ass shit. So wait, so wait, hold on. So you're trying yeah. to say, yeah, yeah, I said scared? It. Yeah. <laughs> you're on some punk shit, so you got to ignore your gut and just go with the fuck is. Fuck it. <laughs> Well, wait. you're going to do what you want to do anyway, but it's that feeling, that, that, that butterfly feeling that's like... Wait, 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 wait. You're talking about something different. Wait. I feel like you get into something different. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> because, because I want to know, I want to know what it is, because this is what it seemed like. Everybody's scared to have their boyfriend or girlfriend have a friend. And is that friendship a real friendship? Like, is the person on the other side, are they thinking of it as a friendship? Like, if you get a, if you hang out with a girl... What if she likes you? What if she actually is interested in you, but she's using the friend excuse to get at you? Or what if another guy is interested in you, but he's using Leah? We just friends. Do, do I find out? Do I eventually find out? Like no, yeah, like, like that's just the thing. Can I be your friend? <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know. What's I your motive? I just want. I want to fuck you, but <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to. I don't want to stop. I don't want to stop what's going on with your whole like situation. Would you really genuinely want to get to know me as a friend? Because you might actually like me as a friend. Yeah, but I would still want to fuck you, though. <laughs> and see, that's the thing. I mean, you're you're attractive. Right. So how are we supposed to be real friends if I want to have sex? See, I feel like guys can't do that. Girls can have a, like a platonic relationship with a male that's attractive. No, because I think women women will open their leg to anybody who shows them enough attention. That's what I think. Nah. nah. I think that's, that's true, true to an no. extent. That's if the if true. the game is that serious, because y'all got two heads, we don't. I, no, no, no. <laughs> y'all got two titty balls. <laughs> no, no y'all got two heads too. The clitoris is just a miniature yeah. penis. Oh, you know that's very true. Yeah, that's very no, true. No, but see, see, this okay. this this is why. Right, you little smart. There. This is why it's not gonna work out though. This is why it's not gonna work out because women can say, "Look, I'm not trying to. I'm just trying to be your friend." And then what's gonna happen is, is that that guy. With that guy who's trying to be your friend, he's going to still try to get at you. And if he's if he's persistent, he'll get you. 
in most cases. Like, if because you already know him now, he might do some shit See, one not day. Not necessarily true. You don't but deserve why, why, that. But why, 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 you know, you know. Why, if why? you were my girl, <laughs> so you're, I would you're, treat you so lovely. <laughs> well, I mean, and I've had talks like that. And exactly. Still, and they still been my platonic friend. See, the thing is, right. like, that, that nigga was pissed. I just want you to know point, that. At that point, you're saying. At that point, you're saying no. that. At the end of the day, attraction doesn't even matter. Yeah. You're just thinking like this guy's just gonna get into someone's head. Like you're not trusting, you're not trusting the other person to be strong. To be strong, but, but see, why you gotta be strong? strong. Just saying. don't have no and friends. No, I'm like, uh, but <laughs> I'm also even saying, okay, there's only one you, right? And then there's only one of your girlfriend, of your girlfriend, right? right if right. you like that person, right. that's who you want. Uh-huh. There's nobody else that can be like her. Right. No, they, they, they yeah, don't. But, right. but, but that don't mean the other girl got homeboy could be sitting up in the house like, we just friends, no, girl. But the other girl got a <laughs> vagina in her mouth, too. Right, so that means we can still have sex. They still feel different. Oh, we got to take a break. <laughs> exactly, that's what I, I want to feel it. We're going we're, we're gonna, to we're gonna be back in a second. You guys are listening to the Sexy Party Show on the GoPro Radio Network. Holla at us. Yes. Yeah. Developed by the GoPro Radio Network, the fastest growing network in the galaxy. GoPro Radio Network. Listen to the voices in your head. We interrupt this broadcast to bring you a great opportunity. If you have an event, product, service, talent, or something important to say, now is your chance. You can have your very own radio show. Whether you're just starting out or a veteran looking for a professional platform to enhance your presentation and following, the GoPro Radio Network is the premier place to cultivate and share new and exciting content. We can help you grow your audience and keep it growing long after your first broadcast. Now you have a voice. Call 212 696 8562 or visit www.goproradio.com and you'll be amazed at how easy and affordable it is to have your very own professional radio show on the fastest growing network in the galaxy. GoPro Radio Network. Listen to the voices in your head. The views and opinions expressed on GoPro Radio Network shows are solely those of the speakers and are not necessarily the views or opinions of GoPro Radio Network Inc. or its affiliates. These broadcasts are provided on the understanding that they do not constitute professional advice or services. Individuals who speak on these broadcasts express their own opinions, experiences, and conclusions. GoPro Radio Networks and its affiliates do not necessarily endorse or oppose any particular opinion or conclusion discussed in these broadcasts. You may not edit or modify or redistribute these broadcasts in any way without the express permission from GoPro Radio, LLC. GoPro Radio assumes no liability for any of your activities in connection with our broadcast or for your use of these broadcasts in connection with your website, computer, smartphone, tablet, iPad, or future listening devices. GoPro Radio Network. Listen to the voices in your head. All right, people. I'm not ready. <laughs> we are back. Focus on your career. Yes. <laughs> we are back, people. We are back on this sexy party show on the GoPro Radio Network. Hold on, we got a caller from a block member. Let's see who that is real quick. Yeah. Uh, you're on the sexy party show. Hello. Hello. You're on the sexy party show. All right. We're gonna have to cut you off real quick. Let's go to Ronan because Ronan got cut off earlier. Uh, Ronan, can you hear us? Yeah. Okay, sorry about that. Yeah, we got yeah, so, I can hear you now. Go ahead. Yo, the pimp from Atlanta, though, son. <laughs> <laughs> so, Ronan, what's, what's popping? What's, what's your thoughts on this? <laughs> yeah, you were saying body language. Yeah, it, it's mainly body language and, you know, uh, intuition. Because, like, I can pick up what's going on with the uh, situation. They're sitting there talking or nonverbal cues. Like, I mainly pay attention to how she responds to everything. Mm. So, if she's on something, then it it'll show. No matter how slick she she can be, because mm. I already know how the dude's gonna be. If he's on, if he's on first watch, you'll you'll know he's on it. Mm. Right. So. So what? How would she have to act for her for you to think she's innocent in in the situation? It it's not some way to act. It it, it goes without saying. I mean, it's show and prove. You know, if she's about it, then. She'll let it be known, hey, you know, I got a dude, and that this ain't no plan B or C or nothing. Like, she's on that. She's eventually going to get it. Well, she's on that hoe shit. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to put you on hold, Ronan, real quick. I'm going to put you on hold. And let's let's right. let's try let's try uh, the one 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 number again. <laughs> so who's this? You're on Sexy Party Show. 
All right. All right. So this person is just, they're just, uh, they're just listening. They're just listening. Thank, thank you, caller, for listening. <laughs> We're going to put you on hold. Now, so, so we got, you know, I want to ask this question. Is there, because I, I keep hearing this, this constant theme over and over again. Every time this topic comes up of friends and, you know, being in a relationship and people, they'll say, I don't need male friends because I have my husband. I don't right. need women friends because I got my girl or whatever. Or right. You shouldn't. So is it a fear of your person cheating on you? Or leaving you for somebody else? Is that the fear that's going on? Nah. Really? No, no. Nah, nah, I that. think no, there's always there's always someone trying to pick your spot. No, for me, no, for me, <laughs> right. it's not it's not fear. Nah. It's more ego, I'll be honest. Right, right. It's it's an ego thing for me right. because I I consider myself being an entrepreneur right. and being a businessman, I don't have a lot of time. Uh -huh. You see what I'm saying? Mm. And I don't I don't consider myself the type of dude that has a lot of time to lay up under his woman. Right. You see what I'm saying? Right. So when we actually do spend time together, uh -huh. that shit is special. Right. So when another nigga is getting my time, whether uh -huh. whether I don't care what the fuck it is, right. whether it's platonic, whether y'all just went bowling, right. whether it's on the phone, texting, <laughs> any type of shit, right. innocent, flirting, any of that shit, right. I feel like he didn't put in none of the work to that get, it to takes get. to keep this relationship going. Right. So he doesn't deserve to get any of my time with my with my quote unquote special person. Right. Exactly. Right. But if if I was living a life of leisure, like I had money out the ass and I could do whatever I want, right. My chick probably wouldn't see me and I wouldn't even give a fuck what she was doing with anybody <laughs> else. And when I, and when and when I came back from doing whatever it is, is I was doing, right. we spent our time and that's you it. Oh, but no, but if she I'm had safe, herpes is a hell of a thing. Man, that's get, what out, I'm talking get about. out of that's here. What I'm herpes about. is no, no, real. Stop, stop, stop. Yeah, that's real. Stop, stop, stop. 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 This, that is, that this is the sexy party show. <laughs> STDs has no place in the sexy party show. <laughs> it's unless, reality, though. Unless no. the topic is STD. No. Because people use STDs as to a, kill as like end all be your arguments and it doesn't help the dialogue. My lips are too sexy, too sexy to have a herpes. Herpy blister on them, okay? I no. feel you, and they are. But <laughs> <laughs> they, people always try to use the STD scapegoat. I'm like, yeah. come on. Yeah, and that, yeah, is, that does end the conversation, though. That does end the conversation. No, it that's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> Wait, that's why. That's yeah. the only reason. That's the only reason, too. We know STDs are real, but for the sake of the conversation, we could we could chill with that I'm, for now. Because I'm like, let's assume everybody's responsible and STD free right, in okay. the conversation. But see, okay. but see the right. thing. But see the thing with the whole like thing of like the fear. I feel you on that a little bit as far as like like if I if I met my girl mm -hmm. and it took me a month to fuck, mm -hmm. if she meet a guy, I need to know it took him a month. At you least. see what you I'm saying? What I'm saying? Even like, after even after you guys are not together anymore. Yeah, even at, like it don't matter. Like all I'm saying is like I can't like if I'm spending all that time to do this, then basically he needs to spend the same amount of time. Like it's not fair for it's like if I if I hire somebody at a job. And I make them wait two years to be manager, and then right. somebody else come in, maybe manager in like a, a day. Like, well, what? that just mean. Well, when that happens, what ha that what does that mean? That just mean that that dude's skills was better, no, or he was no, more charming. Nah, he's called nepotism, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it's really called. Nah, for real, it ain't right. Nah, I mean, I don't know, I don't know. I'm I'm, yeah. I'm the type of dude that I work at my relationships. You right. see what I'm saying? So. Cool. I don't like all that other extra shit. Some nigga getting his time and he ain't even do nothing. Like I, I don't see that. I just don't see it. So what do you think, Z, about if your man has a woman? I mean, you know, he has a friend, right? Does it? I, I always like to ask women this question. Does it affect you depending on how hot she is? That is, yeah. If I really? think she's attractive, yeah, that's gonna definitely affect. Why? Me. It, so it affects it because you you think about the threesome immediately. Yes. <laughs> That's a whole other topic for another day. Oh, okay. That can definitely ruin relationships. Uh oh, it can. It can. Like, it can help them too. It can. Well, you have to have rules. You have to have communication because some. You do. I, <laughs> wait, real quick, real quick, because we got about ten minutes left. If y'all haven't already, go to GoProRadio.com and check out how fine the uh, V is. Z. No Z, Z. Excuse me. Check out how fine Z is. Like, she got the makeup right. She got the eye makeup. She got the eyebrows done right. Even her nails is right. <laughs> the hair is right. She got the chestnuts, chestnut roots <laughs> going. Make it, make it your business to go to go www.goproradio.com right yes. now and check out how hot Z is. Yes, right. check it out. It. Right. So, so the, the the hotness of the girl, like if she was like some you know chick that's not as attractive as you, you wouldn't it wouldn't you wouldn't care. 
you know, it, it would make me even feel some type of way too, because it's kind of like it's kind of like why you you, you fucking around with that? <laughs> yeah, like, that, it's weird. It's like you going to McDonald's when you got Ruth Chris over here? Like, yeah, like, like that's it's a double edged sword. It's like, right. you know what I'm saying? It's like, but see, that's my point. Why deal with all of that nonsense? Just don't be fucking with no other like. Word. Just, just, don't, just don't have any other female friends besides me. I'm yeah. Vice versa. Uh, yeah. But well, you know what it is with me too. I don't. I can't really have female friends. Yeah. You know. Because again, I'm too busy. Right. And that time I got to give to my chick. So if I'm giving time to another woman, she got to be paying me. <laughs> and, what, and what I mean is, it you has know, to be some type. Of, it has to be something dealing with work or something. business. Right. Yeah. Like right. something right. has to be going and on. Something constructive has to be going on. Right. And yeah. if you're not paying me. Me talking to you has to be a great benefit to my to relationship or something. something. something right, in your right, life. Because right. I can't just be running around here talking just about, oh, I, I'm friends with her, I'm friends with her, right. I'm friends, and I ain't fucking or getting paid by none of them. Right. Fuck out of here. I don't got and that I time think, to waste. I think if you're actually in a good relationship, you're not even going to think about having female friends. But that's, or, and or that's or my friends. point. Yeah, right. You're not even going to even think about right. it. That's because, the basis because, of right, my point. Because when you're in a relationship, all the time you're with your male or female, whoever, that's a lot of energy. That's a lot of energy from the opposite sex. Yeah. And, I, and I always tell guys all the time, don't be friends with women because if you do, you will start to hate women. You have to understand <laughs> this. You will start to hate them because women make terrible friends to everybody. You uh, what, women will tell you. <laughs> what, 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 what kind of friends do you I like totally better, different. male or females? <laughs> What? I do like male friends. See, you exactly. see, every time, every there's time. No drama, you know. That's what, I mean? what I'm saying. But then you have to worry about those those male friends that would just want want to fuck you. Yeah, like I know. Me. I feel bad for y'all ladies. Damn, we go, like, we go way back. But girl, you better not yeah, bend over. Yeah, I feel so bad for women sometimes, though. Yeah, because nobody wants to be your friends, and all the guys want to have sex with you. It's yeah, like you have nowhere to up. run to. I'm sorry. It can be hard sometimes. Can we have like a, a we got to do the, the the music, the moral of the oh, story because yeah. we're about to be. Let, let's let, let's get Ronan back one, Ronan, one more time. Ronan, let's get Ronan back three one seven. Ronan, what what are your final thoughts on this, real quick? Well, I want to say V's looking fine here. Like what V? Okay, you got You got to move to a different part of your house because the Boost mobile phone is <laughs> and fucking it's not up v, right now. It's Z. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's Z. What, what'd you say about Z? Say it again. She's looking real hot right there. I like that. I oh, like that. thank you. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> Z is in like with everybody right now. It's going down. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, so now I'm gonna put you on hold, Ronan, real quick. And wait, that was his final thoughts. Final thought. <laughs> yeah, Z, Z look good. <laughs> good. I agree. Oh, that's, that's, horrible. Horrible. that's the final thought. <laughs> oh, Z, Z final oh, hell. And Z, where can people find you at? Um, I'm on Instagram at Z underscore Peaks or at Spell Peaks P-E-A-K-X Nice That's That Peaks or at Twitter at Z Meek Peak and they're all two E's in every okay. one Okay Yeah, because it's too much technology Niggas can't really spell Yeah, 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 yeah. Exactly. They be like two Exactly <laughs> so, so guys, the moral of the story today is don't be friends with people of the opposite sex because saying that you're a friend to someone of the opposite sex is a lie. <laughs> and you're lying to yourself and you're lying to your spouse and it's going to bring nothing but drama. Just realize that men and women were put here to fuck. It's like saying a lion and a zebra cannot be friends. There's a reason a lion can't. and a zebra exist. Lions fucking eat the zebras and men fuck women. It's just how it is. Right, so right. don't try to mess up the natural order of things. Or, or if you have to have uh, friends of the opposite sex right. while you're in a serious relationship, make sure it's some type of transparent benefit right. to your to your relationship, to your life, to your to your financial situation, something. Like, don't just be running out there wasting time and energy on another person because a lot of times that quote-unquote friend could be leading you down a road you don't even want to go down. So right. it's, it's a lot of shit out there. So, any, you know. any last words, Z? Enjoy. I would just say that monogamy does exist. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, where my button at? <laughs> Y'all, what did you want to say for the last thoughts? Peace, motherfuckers. <laughs> and we are out of here, guys. <laughs> yes. Thanks for tuning in. Tune in next week. We're gone. Remember, the truth is inside you. Yeah. Peace. Later. Oh,